all welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having another good day uh so i'm back it's been a minute but today's video is going to be short quick sweet so make sure you smash that thumbs up that like button because it helps out the channel so much you guys thank you so much for joining today's video you guys is going to be real short sweet to the point uh basically we're going to be changing the most forgotten fluid on your trucks okay whether it's a gasser a diesel ford dodge ram uh, Chevy, GM, it don't matter, okay? This is probably the number one fluid forgotten. And it's your transfer case fluid, okay? A lot of people, you know, there's catastrophic videos and catastrophic stuff out there uh, where people blow their transfer case. I'll be real, most times they're doing like four by four boosts and launches, but still, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, and it's so easy to change it, especially on these trucks, you guys, on these 68 RFEs. Uh, I can't speak for the Fords and the Chevys because I never did it on those, but for this truck, it's really simple, really quick, and you only need two quarts of ATF4 transmission fluid. So something you can bust out in 15, 20 minutes, and you're just, you know, you're just good with that. So we're good. we got, well, I'll show you guys what we have now. So we have uh, some ATF4 or AT automatic ATF fluid, but this is compatible with this truck uh, from Amsoil. Shout out to my Amsoil man, Adrian, who's my dealer. His contact info is down below in the video description. Just you know, expand the video description. You can get in contact with him, cell phone, email, text, Instagram, at Diesel Oil Guy. You guys hit him up. He will give you a discount. If you mention me, he will give you a 10% discount or he can get you signed up for the Amsoil Preferred program and that will save you actually more than 10%. So go ahead and do that real quick, you guys. But coming down here, this is a super simple job. I have a ratchet with a Allen head bolt on it, drain pan. You come down here and we're looking, one second. Come down here, we are looking at the transfer case right there. Legitimately, this is the drain plug. That is the fill plug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drain plug out or the fill plug out first. One, to make sure the fill plug can come out. And two, when I take out the drain plug, I'll be able to, you know, it'll be able to all come out quickly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and that's really it. And for a 68 RF transmission, uh, rule of thumb is two quarts. Two quarts, uh, obviously, do your research. Make sure you're doing it right. But from what I found, two quarts is what it holds. So we're going to add two quarts. Uh, and go from there. I'm, I'm real curious to see how this fluid looks when it comes out, you guys, because I've never changed the uh, transfer case fluid since I've had this truck. And for those of y'all that use your 4x4 a lot, I do use mine, but not in this uh, nowhere. I probably use the 10% of the time of, the, of driving the truck. Um, but for those of you that do use it frequently, this is something you definitely want to keep an eye on because your T case is just as important as your actual transmission, okay? Uh, is as simple as that. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up, get y'all set up, and then bust this loose and go from there. All right, you guys. So went ahead, got y'all set up. So for the size of the Allen, the Allen plug, it is a ten. I guess it's just a ten. Uh, it says ten on it, but these are these are Harbor Freight plugs or Harbor Freight uh, Allen screws. So let's see if I can get y'all in on that real quick. It's a 10, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing a 10 mil. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's tight. I don't know the last time that's been cracked. And I know the bottom one, the top one sat flush with the transfer case. So that's definitely brown. Hopefully I don't mess this up because I'm not trying to make a mess. Watch, I'm curious to see how far it shoots out. I believe the torque for this too is 15 foot pounds, y'all. Alright. Let's see if I can do this without spraying oil everywhere. Whoa! I messed that up big time, y'all. And that sucker's black. Y'all see that? Uh, hopefully y'all saw that. Wow. Okay. I have a mess over here now. So let me go ahead and clean this up and then I'll get back with y'all. All right, so after cleaning up my mess, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some fluid. You guys see already, I went ahead and added, I put the bottom plug in. 
uh, I, I didn't torque it. I pretty much reinstalled it until I felt a sharp rise of torque. Uh, and it's sitting exactly where it was sitting at prior to me removing it. So if you want to do it that way, I'm doing it that way. I don't see that being an issue. Uh, but yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and add the fluid. Now a couple couple perks. Amsoil has these automatic, these ATF, uh, I call them juice pouches, but they put their automatic transmission fluid and gear oil in these pouches because when you go to install or add the fluid, you know, if you're doing a diff change, if you're adding fluid to the transfer case or even the transmission, it's using a traditional bottle is annoying because like, for instance, look at this, I would have to get a funnel, you know, a flex funnel, I'd have to get a funnel like this and add fluid to it and that's just annoying you know what i'm saying but with angelo with these pouches man you just put it up there i already cut the tip off and everything uh you just put it up there and smash it in there you know what i'm saying so we're gonna go ahead and, and uh attempt that hopefully i won't mess this up like i did with the drain plug but uh yeah so we'll do this and then just squeeze and add Rainy. The hottest I've seen my transmission get is 190 degrees, and that was, it was what, uh, it was like 98 degrees outside, felt like 115, according to the phone, it was like 95% humidity, so this stuff, man, is, is, is proven, it's proven in my books, you guys take it for what you want, but if you guys want to know what I'm running, I only run stuff that's, you know, up, like, proven slash, I would put in my truck, you guys know me, my OG subscribers, y'all know me. I won't put anything on or in my truck that I would I would not tell you guys to do anything that I wouldn't put in my own truck. So definitely a big advocate for Amsoil. Again, if you want some fluid, hit my boy Adrian up. Adrian to get you set up with all the stuff you need. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. I think this one's empty for the most part. And yeah, man, transfer case fluid is just one of those things that, so that was the first court, now I'm going to add the second one. TK's fluid is one of those things that's just the forgotten fluid, man. People forget. Uh, I'm sure there's trucks out there or whatever may be out there where, like, uh, you know, it's all in one incorporated. But for this truck, it's separate. Um, and I'm not too spooled up when it comes to transfer cases. That's more of a, a specialist job. But I like to do as much as I can myself. One, to save money, and two, to show you guys you can do it too in your driveway. You don't have to take it to a shop. You know, if you're able to, your body allows you to, and you got the resources, which for this was a ratchet and a socket, you know, an Allen head socket, uh, you can do it, man. So a little tip when you're adding the fluid, squeeze it in there so it shoots it in there. That way it's, you don't spill any, you know what I'm saying? I got a little bit dripping out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the bag because I know two quarts are in there. I'm going to remove the bag and quickly put the fill plug on. My truck's on the inclined driveway, so I don't want it leaking everywhere. There we go. I do not love the smell of ATF fluid. I tell you what, that smell is so nasty. There we go. Oh my goodness. Come behind here with a rag, clean her up. You know what I'm saying? I added two quarts. So. Yeah, she's bone dry, empty. And then come behind, a little brake clean. We'll just wipe her down, make sure. That way we know we got any leaks. And my friends, our transfer case fluid is officially changed. That's all she wrote, no leaks. You know what I'm saying? She looking pretty. All right, you guys, so that is going to do it. That's, that's, like I said, short, sweet, quick to the point. 
that is gonna I mean that's as simple as it can get man uh, probably one of the easiest jobs you can do on your truck changing out your tea case fluid um, spill a little bit a little bit over uh, filling up but not a big deal um, if you have any questions comments all that good stuff I want to hear I want to know what you guys think uh, is this something that you forgot comment down below let me know is this something you have ever changed on your truck also how often do you change it because I'm curious to see what how you know what everybody says are you changing it every you know once a year every hundred thousand miles whatever it may be comment down below I'd love to hear you guys opinion uh, and yeah so we'll take it from there I was gonna do an oil change video so I had my stuff set up to do an oil change video I got some new oil same you know AMZO nothing changes but I was gonna do a, a video on this which I will just not today um, this is some new oil I'm gonna be trying out uh, 10w40 premium protection motor oil from AMZO oil uh, this is probably one of their original it's a high zinc formula but one of their original like true synthetic diesel oils you get I think it said 25 15 yeah, 25,000 miles out of diesel uh, uh, oil life. Uh, and it's 10W40. Yes, it's 10W40. Before you jump the guns and say, oh, it's supposed to take 1540, it'll be okay. It's just 10 or 5 weight uh, for winter. It's not a difference. It's, it's still 40 weight oil. So we're going to be doing that. And I'm going to be testing out this stuff because I never used this before. But this is basically engine and trans flush. Uh, you basically pour this in your truck, your motor run it for 10 to 15 minutes and then drain the oil immediately and it comes out like like the truck has diarrhea or something and then uh, apparently it cleans all the varnish and gunk off if there is any leftover which I highly doubt because y'all know me I take care of this truck like a like a dime man like this, this is my bitch right here you know what I'm saying so yeah it's been a minute but I had to drop something for y'all okay she looking good gotta wash her up though so you guys, thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, like button, comment, all that good stuff. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because why would you miss out on this content, you know what I'm saying? So until next time, you guys, be safe, peace out, and I will see you guys soon.